This is the Schmo with the pro. He's 33 and 8. He's the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Glover Teixeira in the flesh. Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the weekend of UFC 282. How we doing? We're doing good, man. We're doing good. Get high pop now by seeing you like that. You know, where did you go? It's great to see you, man. But unfortunately, you're not fighting for the championship belt. That's what the Schmo thought we'd be here doing. We'd be here discussing you fighting for the UFC 282 championship belt against Yuri Prohaska. Yeah, man, no, the fight uh, ended up, uh, didn't go through. Jury got hurt, hoping him a, a good recovery. Now uh, we're watching, we're watching this fight and uh, we get the winner, you know? So what brings you to Las Vegas? Did the UFC do you right? What do they do to bring you out here to Las Vegas to see this championship fight and be here this weekend? I uh, got a couple stuff to do. Uh, got to go in the hospital right now with the kids, helping up uh, with the stuff. It's always uh, good to be with uh, with this kind of environment for me, you know, helping out the kids and uh, and then watch the show. We're gonna uh, in work to to go tonight and um, all this stuff, man. You know, it's all good. You know, uh, the reality is like I wanted to be a, a fighting over here, but it's over. Still training, still going, and uh, just enjoying right now. He's a man of the people. Welcome to the jungle. We love that intro. That's why we got the jungle behind us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to the Schmo for a second. Go over to Shara, man. Listen, Magomed Ankalaev, the Schmo interviewed him a couple of days ago. The UFC was adamant about having this man in the title picture. And obviously they went to you first, and then you wanted more time, rightfully so. You want to prepare for the right opponent, but they give it to Jan Blachowicz. Magomed Ankalaev, is he deserving to get this opportunity right now? Well, we'll see. You know, he's, uh, he, he's been in a, in a, in a very long uh, winning streak. You know, uh, for sure he deserved it, you know, for sure he deserved it. Like I say, I have no problem to fight him. Just wanted to fight him in Brazil because I need that time to work for him. I want to be 100% prepared, fight a guy like that. He's a very tough, tough guy. He's a very tough opponent. And uh, I like to be at my best. I don't like to go in there and say, oh, I take this fight. If I, if I had a fight tonight and uh, something happened, I say, oh, I take this fight, you know, he's a softball, blah, blah, blah. You know, man, I just do my best. And I knew I couldn't show up my best to find that guy uh, for this event. So, you know, see what's going on. You know, uh, it's a tough fight for both of the guys, but uh, I'll get the winner. Whoever the winner is, you know, we're going to prepare for him. Uh, whatever he's ready to go, we go. Has the UFC confirmed that you get the title shot next? Well, Dana said post something yesterday, you know, 100% next. And, uh, yeah, man, you know, it was, uh, that's... That, that's um, if you think about it, Jiri's not coming back for another year, you know, I'm the next guy. There's no uh, there's no doubt about it. If you were in Yuri's shoes and you knew you weren't coming back for at least a year, you had the shoulder injury, would you have vacated the belt? It's a, it's a very uh, uh, it's a very tough decision to do it, I guess, uh, with a year and a half. And uh, Jiri did an incredible thing, man. I don't know. I, 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 uh, I couldn't say that I do. I think uh, it was incredible what he did. You know, I learned from there and... Uh, Maybe if it happened in the future, I'll do it. You know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, it was just a situation that I don't know if I would do it, but the uh, jury did it and uh, was very um, incredible of his part to let the, let the, let it open, let those guys uh, do it. And when I get better, I come back. And uh, it was very impressive. And you train with the champion, Alex Perea, the middleweight champion of the world. He's here in Las Vegas too. What was that moment like? How do you compare it when he won the title to when you won the light heavyweight championship bout, what's the comparison between those two feelings? Man, just as uh, just as happy, you know. Uh, of course, I, I show more with Alex fight because uh, with Alex, usually when we fight, we're in control of this situation. Uh, and you see, he was not as crazy uh, because he went there, knocked out, and uh, the adrenaline. But I was like, because we, we saw this fight going down the hill every round, you know, and like, oh, man, he's uh, other signs ahead. We knew Alex wasn't hurt. Even that first round scared us. We knew he, he wasn't hurt, but uh, it was just adrenaline, man. I was super happy. I'm happy for, for, for my guys to win or any of my friends when win the fight just as much as I am for me. Um, but, of course, uh, over there it was just incredible to see him winning that way, man. It's, it's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling to see a guy like Alex, a uh, good friend, and change his whole life story, change his life. With that, with that belt, it's, it's important. 
He's in the flow. He's sipping his Starbucks. He's wearing his Bruce Lee hoodie. The Schmo's got to ask you this. John Jones, former opponent, all this rumor of him going up to the heavyweight division hasn't had a fight yet, but maybe it's going to be against Francis Ngannou. Maybe it's going to be in the spring of 2023. Francis Ngannou, John Jones, how would you see that one playing out? Man, that's a big fight. That's a big fight. Everybody wants to watch John Jones. You know, he is one of the, the greatest light heavyweight of all time. You know, one of the greatest fighters of all time over there. You know, he's incredible. And, uh, you know, it's been a long time we don't see him in Octagon. So hopefully he still uh, have that fire inside of him to fight because he's going to fight. Uh, he's going to fight the King Kong, you know. Uh, he's freaking like so powerful, uh, Francis Ngannou. And uh, it's going to be an interesting fight to watch, man. It certainly is. And when can we expect to see you inside the cage? Obviously, there's got to be a title on the line. And one of these guys, Magomed Ankalaev and Jan Bohovic, they got to be ready for you. But ideally, is that going to be in the summertime? Is it going to be in the springtime? Come on, you're not a young guy. Yeah, man, you know, I'm, I'm over here like uh, shape. I stopped my camp, of course. I was like in the, in the peak of my camp. I stopped for a little bit, but I'm still training, still going, and uh, I'm ready. You know, whatever, whatever they ready, hopefully uh, nobody get hurt. Um, the winner, we fight anytime. It'll be good to fight in Brazil, you know. Who knows? That could happen. I say um, I fight those guys in Brazil, any of those two in Brazil, and uh, it's a possibility still there uh, because let's go to Brazil. But, uh, eh, you know, I know, I know. I, I know it's tough because uh, it's a fight. They go on to a five-round fight. And anything can happen. You can can hurt your 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 finger, your toe, and you 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 can't fight right in general. But uh, whatever, man, I'll be ready. I'll be training. Be ready. I'm having fun training, and uh, whatever this fight is. One of the most positive guys in the business. Can we get a final message for all the Glover to share fans out there worldwide? Stay strong. Stay. Oh, I'm not saying positive. I say realistic. You know, not positive, not negative. Just see things the way it is. Stay real. When are we going to get the schmo to drink from that fountain of youth, man? Because you're like an exuberant 30-year-old. Yeah, man. You just got to, I don't know, just live life, man. Look, nature, don't think about it, you know? Don't think about how old you are, you know? You think um, think an animal, work out, uh, a dog, you know how old he is when he wake up in the morning. He just wake up happy all the time, man. Just got to do it like that. In the famous words of Bob Marley, don't worry, be happy. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Las Vegas. We're out.